So I think we'll get started here. Uh, my name is uh, Kent Choquette. I uh, am a professor at the University of Illinois. Uh, and today, uh, this is Tuesday, so, no, this is Wednesday. So uh, today I would, I would be giving a lecture uh, at, at Illinois. Um, so I'm here instead to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, vertical cavity surface emitting lasers. Um, so I have taught this course now for, uh, well, since the mid 90s. Um, and it, uh, this course was very popular around 2000, uh, then it, it died down, and now it's, 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 the interest is, is rising back up again. So um, it's interesting <coughs> how the evolution of this, of this technology. So before I start, let me uh, first get a little bit of a feel for my audience, uh, because one of the things I don't want to do is to be teaching uh, either too high or too low. I want to try to hit hit the middle. So uh, how many of you are familiar with semiconductor laser diodes? Okay. And familiar means you've worked with them, um, you, uh, you have advanced degrees, a PhD uh, studying them? No? Okay. Oh, very good. All right. Um, and then uh, how many of you have had any background in semiconductor uh, physics? Okay, good. So uh, because uh, VIXELs, vertical cavity surfacing lasers, are microcavity lasers. And so they're both semiconductor laser diodes, which means they're very useful and very easy to uh, operate. Um, but at the same time, to understand their, uh, their operation uh, uh, takes uh, some understanding. And in fact, uh, this is an example of a um, of a device structure where we're modulating, where we're engineering its structure on the wavelength, on the scale of its wavelength. So uh, it's a, um, there's a, there's actually quite a lot of physics and a lot of quantum mechanics that, uh, uh, that, we, that we can use to understand the operation. And so I'm going to try and touch both fundamentals as well as maybe the, the, the high end. All right, with that, let me get started. Um, this, uh, this page is mainly in there for, uh, for introduction, uh, and um, <clears throat> so I'm not really going to say anything about this. All right, so here's the outline. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first start off, uh, because again, uh, I, some of you had some experience with laser diodes. I'm going to uh, do a, a very introduction to uh, laser diodes. In fact, this is the introduction I'm going to give you is a condensed form of what I teach undergraduates undergraduate uh, electrical engineering students at uh, uh, sophomore, uh, sophomore level. Um, so we'll, we'll have an introduction to laser diodes, uh, and then, uh, as also as part of introduction, we'll say a little bit about semiconductor gain, because these lasers uh, rely upon semiconductor quantum wells. And it turns out this is one of the most efficient um, and uh, efficient um, uh, a light source uh, material, and so I want to say a little bit about this because, again, the, the VIXEL uh, work, uh, works very close with the optical gain. So then we have gain, then we're going to put it inside of a cavity. So I'll tell you a little bit about FabiPro uh, resonators. Uh, and this is where a lot of the properties, a lot of the attributes of the performance of lasers are uh, 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 responsible for. Uh, and then we'll focus on confinement between both electrons and, and photons. And like I said, the, the modes, the optical properties of these lasers are affected very much by the cavity. So we'll talk about this. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the VIXEL properties. Uh, we'll say a little bit about, about uh, two-dimensional uh, VIXEL arrays, because this is sort of the part of the, the reason why we're having this renaissance in the interest in, uh, in VIXELs. And then I'll end a little bit on applications. Uh, then we'll have a summary. Uh, I'll have to tell you that on the application side, this conference has, there are more companies out on the exhibit hall that can tell you more about uh, the applications than I'll be able to. What I'm going to do is just sort of show you some of the things that people are using them for, um, but if you have de detailed questions about particular applications, I may not be able to help you or I may be able to point you in the right direction.